Yo, what's up, Internet? It's RJ with Road to Liberty. To another video. Um, I've actually been inspired to do more videos recently by a few different people. A, from people I've just been discovering on YouTube who are really active, posting multiple videos a day, being very, I don't know, just active. And then also from the recent um, Matt Drudge interview on Alex Jones, where he was pointing out that, and that's the point of this video, is that he believes that um, the powers that be are trying to take away free speech next year in 2016, um, or at least start to do so, free speech on the web. And the way they want to do this is they want to uh, supposedly limit the ability for people to use links online and headlines. So I can't um, quote from your article and say da 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 at the um, Washington Post had to say whatever. Um, and linking used to be considered a positive thing as a way of citing or referencing your sources. But um, the powers that be want to control the narrative. Apparently, this is true. So as a hedge against that, guys, I'm making more videos and I'm making this video to encourage you also to possibly step up your game in making content. Also, when you're, if you are making content already, or if you plan on making content, I would recommend investing in an external hard drive if you can afford to. Uh, that way you could back up some of your videos. Um, there's always a chance that censorship could take place at some point in time and YouTube and other sites might be forced to cut back or take down certain videos containing certain keywords or topics. Um, they could all blow over or there might be other avenues or places for us to share this information. So having a backup is wise. Um, Matt Drudge was on Alex Jones recently. I would check that out, guys, honestly. Um, Alex Jones is getting a little bit of a bad rap um because of his attitude i think but he's been spot on with a lot of stuff and he's actually ahead of a lot of people on figuring out what's going on if you can sort through some of the stuff you don't like um so drudge was on there recently the other day and uh he said that a supreme court justice had told him that that he would be done next year meaning 2016 that matt drudge would be done because he Basically, all he does is share headlines and links. That's exactly what he does. That's his whole website. It's just a bunch of links and headlines from other websites. Um, they want to make it, I say they, um, the powers that be, want to make it so that that sort of thing is prohibited. So I would take him out. Um, as far as I see it, certain people care about this sort of thing, and certain people think it's a waste of time to think about. If that's a waste of time to think about, okay, fine. Um, I'll accept that. Uh, but that's always time to think about every it's sort of contradictory because anything else that you enjoy doing you typically enjoy via the ability to talk about it and if free speech ever limited your ability to do those things you'd be mad like if you liked hunting or canoeing and you weren't allowed to blog about it anymore because there was a blanket rule against linking online it might affect you um, so this is being done via copyright concerns or under the guise of copyright concerns and it's done through the Trans-Pacific Trans -Pacific Partnership Law, the TPP, which recently passed. Sort of another step towards global governance, giving um, corporations the power to hold countries legally accountable, basically, uh, using the courts of nations to, to police people when they owe companies money for intellectual property so you listen to a song you weren't supposed to listen to um they want to make it so you really got to pay garnished wages on that <clears throat> um so what drudge is recommending and i'm going to mirror that echo that is for us to make our own content make our own blogs if we can do it may not be practical for us to upload videos to our own website the hosting costs can get extraordinarily high um, but we can also save a backup and we can upload to multiple places so YouTube is one place, vid.me is a new place, or vidme.com, um, Vimeo, and uh, Facebook as well. Facebook allows you to upload video, why not take advantage? Um, you can do short little clips on Instagram or Vine. So all this stuff helps. Um, so by us all launching our own platforms, it makes it harder for them to shut everything down, control the narrative. And it also creates a momentum that other people will be coming to you their friend, their neighbor, their family member for information as opposed to coming to um, the talking heads on TV because not only are you equally as consistent, but you're also sharing it from a more human perspective, a more realistic and believable perspective. If you watch TV, and most people don't, but if people do watch TV, 
um, you have to admit it's not as believable as it used to be. It's very plastic and show and pageantry, whereas maybe in the 90s or even before that, it used to be a little bit more, um, you could tell when they were faking, you could tell when they were being genuine. Now it's very hard to tell. So I think on these type of platforms, while we have YouTube, while we have Facebook's allowing us to upload video, let's upload our videos. Um, in the meantime, blogging isn't a bad idea either. Basically, share content, guys, while we can. And um, wake up, I hate to say such a cliche, but wake up to the idea that, that free speech could be taken away from you, uh, just like the right to bear arms could be taken away from you. Um, apparently, this is what Matt Drudge believes. He says they're pushing for that. He said that a, uh, uh, a Supreme Court justice told him that. So I, I see it as a battle, guys. Um, you know, we really can't rely on the Facebooks and the YouTubes of the world to hold our stuff forever because they'll be the first ones to pony up to the government when asked to do so. But that all being said, I think we should still um, get out there. Um, who agrees with me that, the, that there's even a battle to be waged? Who agrees with me that, that now is the time to start to double down on our actions? And does anybody see an action that, that or an avenue uh, that, that can be taken that I'm not seeing? What do you think we could do that I'm not suggesting? Um, willing to just make a difference? Um, can the agendas of the elite be stopped? Are they afraid? Are they reactionary? Are they in control? These are all questions I want to know the answers to. I don't know what you guys think. It's why I do this channel. It's why I do videos is to get feedback that I can't find from just posting comments anywhere else. So hopefully you watch this. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Hopefully you have something to say back. Um, could they take the free speech away? I want to know what you guys think and what can we do about it? Or am I just a paranoid freak? Peace out.